know what we can talk about in this nation without talking about white superiority, honestly. Who defines the meaning of God also defines the relationship between economy and God. African Americans spent $1.3 trillion last year, making us the 16th wealthiest nation in the world. Why have we not turned those riches into wealth to develop our community? Peace, family. Um, it is so great to be back again. You know, I was here yesterday. <laughs> now I'm back. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm so excited um, to uh, to sit down again with Queen of Four. She's awesome. She's so beautiful. And um, and so I know you guys have been blowing up our social media. Like, where is the queen? Where is the queen? The queen is here. Just a little housekeeping, um, family. I need for you guys to like and share this video right here. Like and share the video. Um, it's very important that, you know, that the information we get, we share it with others. Okay. That is how we grow as a people. That's how, you know, uh, we can really get on with moving ourselves to, to be financially independent. Right. And so um, please make sure you like and share in this video. If you want to um, show us some happy love, I got that from Kim Simon, a little happy love right there. You can um, hit us on the cash app. It's dollar sign happy film. Um, and um, if you are on YouTube, you can hit us on the super chat. And now, if you're on fa on Facebook, you can buy um, stars. So this is this is all right. So any monies that you give us goes right. We we put it right back into the community. You are officially part of the Hoppy movement. When you are liking and sharing videos, when you're um, when you are donating money to us and you're buying merchandise, the Hoppy movement consists of four principles. Number one, love black people. Number two, support black businesses. Queen of Four has a black business. We have a black business, supporting black business. Number three is um, becoming more financially astute with your money. All right. And number four is teach the youth the truth. And so all of our guests, usually they, they're doing like all four, like Queen of Four. She's doing all four of them. And so, um, you know, we are so excited to have her um, in the house with us um, today. Also, family, if uh, you are not yet connected to our newsletter, please, 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 I'm telling you guys now, okay? Join, um, you're going to go to um, happyfilm.com and hit the, um, the uh, get connected button and get connected. Next month, we will be given, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be announcing something and you want to get the discount. And you can't get the discount if you're not connected to us via, via um, the newsletter. OK, so I'm urging you guys to please go to happyfilm.com, hit the get connected button, leave your email address so that you are then connected to our newsletter. Also, family, um, when you're there, you can get merchandise. <laughs> merchandise is always good. We have T-shirts, hats, uh, water bottles, and we have all of our DVDs. Hoppy, um, you know, Hoppy Talks is a derivative of Hoppy the Documentary which is two hours and 12 minutes, and it's the history of money. We start in Kemet, and we bring it all the way back to the United States. So it's very important that if you are going to be down with our movement, that you see what we're really about, and that's one way. That's one of three films that Taki Grant has done. is Nubia, um, The Untold Story, and The Tekken. So please, family, you know, go check and see what we have going on. And we also have the One Africa uh, uh, conference, which is also on happyfilm.com. And we had 13 scholars come and talk about the power of unity in Detroit this past um, spring. So family, please support. And again, if, you know, cause I'm not trying to get into your pockets, into your pocketbook, none of that. If you don't have, you know, if you don't have it to give, I understand, but you do have it to give when it comes to liking and sharing this video. OK, it's important for you to support not only us, but um, our guest, Queen of Four. She has a lot of things that you can um, you can do to make yourself whole and healthy. All right. So without further ado, I bring you Queen of Four. Hey, Queen of Four. How you doing? Fine. How are you doing? Thank you again for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah. You know what? Listen, you are always a treat. We are so happy that this was able to work out because I know you are busy. Yeah. You are busy. 
I I was looking I was looking at something where I wouldn't even think you would be on. I'm, I'm from Detroit, so I love mm -hmm. the Detroit Pistons. Um, Jalen Rose, and so I just happened to be on his Instagram. I was like, "How is he interviewing Queen of Four? Mm -hmm. That is awesome!" Mm, yeah. yeah, well, I've been getting around for the last fifty years, so <laughs> I mean, every so we all need one. We all need wellness, so you yeah. might find me just about everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. what's up. So, mm -hmm. so you know, I know that you don't you don't have a lot of time. So I really appreciate you, you know, coming on. So one of the things I um, I just want to kind of just before we we talk about like Queen of Four, like who Queen of Four is like right now, I just want to kind of just take it back a little bit <laughs> because I'm I'm always interested in someone's journey to getting to where they are, right? And you're you're never you know I've heard you talk about like you're never you're always in a place of learning and growing and developing. You know, but I'm, you know, I feel like the the rise to it really is helpful to, um, you know, to people. So before, I mean, you've always been a queen, but before you were the queen, okay, like what types of things did you do? Well, I was an artist. Mm. I had a dance company when I was 16 years old. And we traveled uh, in Brooklyn, all around Brooklyn to the schools and community centers. And we did African dance. And then this company asked me to audition um, and I had a chance to um, perform at the Metropolitan Opera House in Aida. And, um, and then I, had a, I was a part of a singing group and um, I sung in different places. And then I took this training to develop as an artist. You had to audition for it. It was called the Demigods. And... Um, I studied writing plays and dance and singing and acting. So really, that's what I thought was going to be my full life. It was, I had no idea I was going to become a healer. But I was, I was sick. In between that, I had asthma and allergies and eczema and arthritis and PMS. So while I was striving to be an artist, I was striving to heal myself. And so those two met. And then the healing took me into its bosom and and I started to do that all the time because I was healing and I started to heal myself and I got rid of those problems and once I got rid of those problems through nature then I just started getting into the healing so deeply and studying and learning and growing in it that the healing um, the, the, the healer actually dominated <laughs> overtook over my artistic self but my artistic self continued when I do Sacred Woman, we do plays. We do a play um, from death to resurrection on the journey to Sacred Woman. And we do that twice a year. And, um, and then I wrote a play out of a book I wrote, which is um, a one woman show called um, If Your Vagina Could Speak, What Would She Say? <gasps> and so I did that play. And I've done it when I went to Europe. I did the play. I did it um, in Philadelphia and New York or Broadway. So... I, I did that. That was my that was my foundation. But my biggest work is to do the work of healing because our people are in such dire need. And just looking at the women, um, with when the book Sacred Women came out, it was forty five percent of Black women had fibroid tumors, and now ninety percent, twenty two years later, ninety percent of Black women have fibroid tumors, and fibroid tumors can lead to a hysterectomy. So. That's the, that's the journey. And we don't have to go that route, which, but we have to know how to heal. So that's why I'm teaching womb care love, natural healing. Mm -hmm. I've joined forces with my daughter, so we work together with the product line to save the women. You know, so yes, that's my journey. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm still hung up on the play. That is such on a, play. that's a nice name for a play. Mm. You know, and I would love to have seen. Is that videotaped somewhere? Um, you somewhere. <laughs> interview some. You gotta like. You might have to bring that one back out. I wouldn't mind bringing it out. It takes work. Yeah. You know, you have to get the theater. It's just a lot of work to bring it out. Yeah. And I can't do both. So, you know, like when I went to Europe, I played. I did it then because it was an intensive. So I tried to show them everything I was doing. So I did the sacrament training. I did the 
um, the detoxification, 21 day detox training, and to teach people how to set up their wellness homes and wake up that inner healer. And then the last day I was there, I did the play and did book signings. So, you know, many times people have said, well, Queen, you have to focus in. You're too broad. Well, I also teach womb yoga dance. I teach dance through movement, through yoga practice. So I get people like, they, they, they like, oh my gosh, this is too much. I don't feel like it's too much. I feel like that everyone has many gifts. Absolutely. But what happens when you don't heal, you can't bring those gifts out. You feel stifled. You, you have it, but you don't bring it or you're afraid of it or it doesn't, you don't find a way to make income from it so you can't focus in it. So we all have many gifts. And what I've been led to do is to bring them all out. I'm a product line, you know, because I, but my gifts really come out because people ask of me to help them. And yeah. so when I start thinking, how can I help you? Um, and it, it will show in different ways. Some of our, our help through theater, they go to a, a movie, they go to a play and that changes their lives. Some are healed through the books. So I've written eight books. Some are healed through the product line, so I created the product line. Some are healed through consultations, so I give consultations. Some are healed through the rites of passage. I've taken thousands of women through the rites of passage, so I've done that. And then I partners with my with my son, a supernova. He's teaching man heal thyself. I wrote the book initially, and then we came together on the book because the men asked me, "Well, you wrote a book for sacred women. What about us?" Well, I said that I'm not a man. I can't write for you. But then they wouldn't let up. <laughs> so I wrote from my un my understanding of what men need. And so that book is Man Heal Thyself. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, you know, a uh, shout out to um to Supernova because he was the first, he was our second guest on Happy Talks when we first got started. <laughs> Back in 2020, um, 2020 yeah, when COVID uh, first came out, he was our second guest. And so he didn't, you know, to, for someone, you know, we didn't really have a platform. We were just finishing the movie. You're about to go on tour. And uh, we reached out to him and he was like, yeah, I'll do it. I was like, wow, that's what's up. So, yeah, shout out to Supernova. Mm -hmm. um, okay. It, you know, um, oh, God, my, my, my. So much um, to unpack. Um, so when when we talk about this idea of, of um, healing ourselves, mm -hmm. first before we even get to the healing part, how do we get in touch with the insides of us? Does that make sense? Like, who? How do we get in inside with the per with that part of us that does mm -hmm. the healing? Well, usually, one has to go through a crisis to wake up, mm. to want to change. Um, sometimes it's because they lost someone special in their lives. Sometimes it's through a revelation that you say, oh, wow, I, I need to shift. So things usually happen that wake us up. The lights come on in our lives. Oh, that's a glaring. That hurts. That doesn't feel comfortable. I mean, I know because I had asthma. Asthma, I, I couldn't even breathe. Mm -hmm. And so I needed to breathe. And I said, how do I do this? How can I breathe without being on a pump or a respirator? And so that crisis made me call out from my soul on a deep level. And, and that call out was at a retreat when I was a teenager. And I got off the bus and it was grass and trees and the asthma kicked in. And I went into the cafeteria with my suitcase of 30 other people I didn't know. And the asthma was so strong, I, I, was, I thought I was gonna be hospitalized. And then I said, and I said, what am I going to do? And as soon as I said that, because I was tapping into the creative, creative was already letting me know. Yeah. And I looked to the left and there was this rose hips tea and some grapefruits and oranges. And that's what I heard, eat lemons, grapefruits and oranges. And that was my beginning of my healing. And within 24 hours, I, I, that night, I was in Azmec, I sat in front of the fireplace and the heat was coming to my lungs. And... I slept because if I lay down, my lungs could collapse. So when everyone was comfortable in their bed, I had to sit up. And the next day, I went to the bathroom and mucus just drained out of me for about an hour. And then the asthma stopped. And then the itching stopped. And then the reds of my eyes, it was red, my whites of my eyes was red bloodshot and it turned back to white. And then my mind that was racing calmed down immediately. And then I realized that 
I have some control of this. And that I, I can heal. I realized at that moment that I could heal myself because the asthma stopped and I didn't have the pump. I didn't, have, I didn't go to the hospital. I didn't have an injection. Where was I going to get healing at? I was from within. So I've always told people the power to heal you is inside of you and you have to heal yourself. So that's, that's usually what it takes. It takes an awakening. People, you know, when, when the bottom fell out and people was getting the virus, people started like, oh my gosh, some said, oh, I know, I'm gonna take some elderberry. I'll take some garlic. I'll take some ginger. I'll get some more sunlight. I'll stop eating that meat. That, and people either perish or, or, or live. You know, that people make choices. And people, more and more people were waking up to wellness, to healing. So that was a crisis that woke everyone up. So yeah. we don't always have to go through a crisis. Matter of fact, we probably went through a few of them. And we just ignored it or we, didn't, or we still didn't hear what to do now that I've gone through. So that's why I would come in. I would say, I'm here to help you. That's when, I, when people call me in and, and they say, well, I, I'm going through five different issues and I'm suffering. And I says, okay, well, nature will heal you. Nature will take care of you and take you out of the wilderness of your sickness. Are you ready? And they'll often say, I'm ready. But then they have to invest and they may not be ready to invest. They, they have to invest time. Mm-hmm. They have to they have to be will they have to invest finance because they have to purchase products. They have to purchase healthy foods. They have to be ready to change an attitude or mm. um, a diet or a thought process or that you prepared maybe to change a relationship. So there's gonna be a change, but that change is gonna be for the best. And if they can take that journey, then they will get to their 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 prayers can be answered. Yeah. You know, shout out to you during COVID because I tell you, you were doing the little kitchen, you know, like things in your kitchen you can find. I was like, yep, let me just get all these little things together. I was straight up following you. I was like, that's when I was like, wow. I was like, who is this woman? <laughs> you know, it was during COVID where I really, you know, like I knew of you and I knew of Sacred Woman, but mm-hmm. I didn't know you or Sacred Woman until mm-hmm. I saw how you just went straight into action. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, you know, also what, what pushed me was... um. Uh, Black Girls Rock, and um, it was asked. Beverly Bond called me up in a crisis for, for her for her work and her community, and she said, Queen, we're scared. We don't know what to do. Um, and I said, well, I know exactly what to do to, put, to build up your immune system. That's all I've been doing all these years. And, and I also know what to do for that respiratory because I had asthma and I was able to heal myself, and I have breath of life, I have products. And so she took it on and then for six months, when I got, I, she asked me to do a workshop and I did it. And I said, all, all the things you could do, so many things you could do, it's already in your house. And mm-hmm. after that, she said, oh my gosh, could you stay with us? So I ended up staying with her for six months. And then we, <laughs> it just, every week, then I ended up start creating a podcast out of being with her so long. And you know, I started teaching woo healing out of being with her so long. So she was in it, she had a need and, I was able to fill the need, and nature took care of all of us, and, and that's the gift. That's you know, our gift. Yeah, I think one of the things that I admire about you is that you're able to, like, listen, and then you actually do what is presented. I'm thinking, if I was giving, if I was having, like, an asthma, I couldn't breathe, and I saw some, you said, lemon, grapefruit, and oranges, I wouldn't be thinking, oh, let me just eat those and, and be feeling better. Mm-hmm. That's what I would be thinking. And so the fact that you were able to like look at that as a uh, something you know that you're like oh I need to maybe you know use this you know it's good that you're able to uh, it's back to the intellectual listening. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what's interesting because I wrote a book that I thought was going to be like a forty-page book, and mm-hmm. it became two hundred pages. And this is a book as you soon as you said I picked it up. This is it. It's a- Impeccable listening. Yes. 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 Impeccable listening is what I realized when I was writing it. I said, wait a minute. When my life worked, I was listening impeccably. Mm. And then I went back into my life and when I wasn't listening and how much I had to suffer because I didn't listen. I didn't know how to decipher. Um, Some people think, well, is that the most high talking to you or is that your lower self? I know how to hear it now. Um, So... I, but I heard it in the beginning when I had no, no re- relationship to natural healing. But when that's what everyone has intuition. We know when we listen intuitively, things work out for our good. But we sometimes yeah. ignore the intuition 
coming to help us to save our lives. And so we said, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to change. Your intuition will tell you you're going to have to leave that relationship alone. I don't want to leave that relationship alone. Okay, well, then now you're going to have to maybe get beat up before you get out that relationship. Right? So I find it is much better to listen to the divine. So I practice. I, one of the practices is getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. And now I don't even try to get up. I've gotten up. When I have a deep question, I just wake up, just wake up. And I said, wow, okay, now what am I supposed to do? So I take a deep breath and I did a download. Sacred woman is a download. I just listened for seven years. What is a sacred woman? What does she do? How does she heal? How does it all begin? Oh, for my ancestors, right. For my ancestors, well, how did, how did they dress? What did they eat? What was their prayers? And I kept researching, researching, and listening. So that intuition is going to save our lives. Yeah. That's what it is. And so when we practice doing that, then things begin to work out for the best. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I don't want to let certain things go. Like, I don't want to let healing go. I don't want to let, um, you know, so no matter what, I'm going to use healing to help me to remember. Mm -hmm. And so in order for me to remember to listen and pack about, I have to heal every day. Mm -hmm. So every day I do some type of healing. Like when I come off these calls, I have calls today. I'm going to go make some green juice and have a salad some more. I'm running out of avocados. I got to get some avocados because it keeps my digestive system good. And before I go to sleep tonight or either when I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to take a healing bath so I can stay flexible. So I have I've incorporated healing into my life so I can hear. Because when I can hear, I get a download from the most high and to save my life, to save my work, to find where my prosperity is to be able to create. And that's why I created so much. I created so much because that's where it's coming from. It's not me. I'm just, I'm, I'm just like this. I open up and I say, most high guide me. You're tapped in. You are tapped in. Oh, wait, you're muted. You're muted for some reason. Oh. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yeah. See, this time you just get to the good part. <laughs> so can you yeah, hear me? No. Yeah, no, I can I'm hear you. I'm leave and come back. No, no, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Well, she's going to leave and come back. In the meantime, family, um, please like and share this video. And yo, you know, I, I, I appreciate you guys coming back from last night. I even see modern day Sage is up in the house. That's what's up. And, um, you know, thank you for coming back and joining us today. Uh, I see Joseph, uh, Sherry, Tinas, Tinas Tillman. Tinas was um, on our show. You have to, I mean, anything martial arts, weapons, you go follow this brother right here on Facebook. Um, he will get you, he'll get you straight right there. Tinas Tillman. Um, Stacey Quentin. Um, nice to see you guys. And Tika, Tika has been traveling with Hoppy when we go to Kemet. Um, so it's nice to see you, Tika. That's what's up. Yeah, she'll be coming right back in. You know, I'm just so appreciative when elders can be able to, to navigate and come back in and come back on to these calls. Um, yep, I see you, Yousef. You again. Uh, I, a lot of you guys are back in the house. Um, please take this time. Um, and Brian, so all of you guys, what type of jobs y'all got where y'all can be online like this? I love it. That's what's up. Thank you for the support. Um, Rashamella, yo, like that's that's that that's what's up. Make sure you guys are liking and sharing this video. And um, if you want to show any type of little hot happy love right there, uh, dollar sign happy film. Family, on YouTube especially, we are so close to 30,000 viewers, right? We just need for you guys to just go ahead and subscribe to the, um, there's the queen, she's back. Subscribe to us um, and help us get to 30K. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yay. Wow. <laughs> yes. Technology. Wow. I said most high. That's what I just said. <laughs> I said most high. I'm been disconnected. How do I get back in? I started tapping this and tapping that. I was all the way out there. I went to a whole nother stream. I said, oh. most high, guide me. What did I do to get in the first place? Okay. Mm. My technology person is not here. Mm. Right. You know, I, I just so. said that. I was like, listen, I appreciate you guys being able to, to move the maneuver, get in and getting out and coming back. Like, that's what's up. You know, just imagine, you know, you've probably <laughs> seen the evolution of technology. 
you know, and there now, was no technology. There it is. <laughs> See, I didn't want to see that. You know, my there grandma. Was none of this. There wasn't even a conversation. My <laughs> people, my age, they they like Queen. I can't do all that. They look at me and say, I can't even. I cannot even get dressed up to the, to the level you even get dressed. I can't go through all them changes. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. No, hands down. Listen, I love when you come on the show because you have a plethora of pictures. I can just go. I don't have to go to your website. I just Google your name. And you and your pictures are nice. They're different colors. They're different foods. So I can pick any of your pictures and put them up. <laughs> so, yeah, no, your, 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 whole, your whole artistic game is tight. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to give some credit to my daughter. <laughs> She's doing a good job. That, that's what's up. Yeah, she got your stuff tight. Um, so, yeah, so you were just talking about how you're tapped in. Um, and the more you stay healthy, the more you're tapped, you're, you're able to listen to the voice. And yeah, talk. yeah. So, you know, the foods that we're eating creates the energy that we carry that's in us and around us. So the when you eat, like, when someone calls me up for a 10-minute tune-up, I'll say, you got to give up some things. Like... To raise your frequency, it's all frequency. The higher your frequency, the more you produce. The higher your frequency, the more prosperity comes in. The higher your frequency, the greater your communication. So the lower your frequency, the more issues you have. Mm -hmm. And what lowers our frequency, what we put in our body, that's our fuel. Yeah. So if your fuel is on a low level, you're going to function on a low level. Mm -hmm. If your fuel is on a high level, you're going to function on a higher level. So you have to give up the meat. Well, you don't want to give up the meat. Well, you might be addicted to eating meat because you've been eating it since, since conception through your parents and how they, they, they were eating it, passed on through your bloodline. So, but you said, well, that can't, that's causing cancer and meat is causing premature aging and meat is disconnecting you from the source. Yeah. So you have to then start working. What are, what are the protein choices? Beans, peas, lentils, avocados, nuts, seeds. So then you start moving into that and start cutting back. Okay, you're starting to get more light. Your frequency is coming up. Oh, sugar. Sugar's a few molecules away from cracking cocaine. If you have that, you have a mood switch, getting angry at people. The sugar has you up, it has you down, it has you in, it has you out. So you've got to give that up. But how do I give that up? You have to clean off your bloodstream. If your blood is polluted, then you're going to still want the same thing. So I have developed a product line. I have a 21-day detox uh, kit, actually, that helps to detox the cravings. That's your master herbal formula. I'm going to show it to you. This is one of my main products uh, for detoxing uh, cravings, right? People say, I, I, I want to give up the sugar, but I'm craving. I want to give up the meat, but I, but I'm, I need it, you know? It's only because it's in the blood. So mm -hmm. you can detox from cigarettes and coffee and junk food and alcohol and drugs, but you need help. So those 13 help, herbs help. And so, you know, what I do is, what I get people to do, I have to do it too. So when people say, I don't have any energy. I wake up tired, I go sleep tired. I can't create anything because I'm so exhausted. I give all my energy to my nine to five job, I can't create. So I have developed Green Life Nutritional Formula. Woo. <laughs> this is a formula to help you to have mental clarity, stamina, vitality. When the, when the virus hit, everybody was like concerned about their lung. What I had, I had the breath of life, which is well, this formula. I remember um, uh, uh, Laura London, she, was, she used all my formulas, right? And so she said, I'm gonna let people know about this breath of life, and she did. And we went from having one person on staff in manufacturing to 11 people within three weeks. Because so many people are having an issue with something so simple, or plant-based from nature, eucalyptus and peppermint. And then the, the people have pain in their body. And so I said, well, I have your clay for you. And the rejuvenation clay, if you have aches and pains, or right, aches and pains. So what I'm saying is using these formulations from nature, taking on a holistic lifestyle diet will help you become more attuned to listening to the voice of the Most High. When we don't listen to the voice of the Most High, then we have issues. The more we listen to the voice of the Most High, the less issues that we have. Yeah. And so we just start clearing up. And then all of a sudden, your creative energy comes out, it just pours out of you. You know, this is the era of the creatives. So yeah. if you want to stay a creative, then you have to keep your frequency high, your blood clean, your arteries cleared out, the colon flushed out, mm. your mind cleared. So there's, some, there's a criteria 
for being a creative and to have the vitality and the energy. And because I'm an older creative, I have to make sure I maintain myself every day so that my, so I don't. What? Okay, she's, she's frozen. Okay, yep, no, I can hear you. Oh, wait, I, oh, let me just, you know, I think I can unmute you. Um, okay, yeah, you just muted. Uh, down at the, um, at the bottom should be a mute button. You just hit that. Okay, oh, oh no. Right. Can you okay. hear me yet? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm going to go out and come back again. You can go out and come back in. All right, fam. Oh, she's still here. Okay, fam. Um, make sure you are liking and sharing this video. Um, and we're going we're gonna to have her come come back and come go and come back in. Um, yes, and I'll, you know what? Well, shout out to all the sacred women in the... Um, in the chat that's what's up i see you guys all chiming in that's that's cool that's cool make sure you um let me know where you where you um where, where you are geographically in the world um okay here we go well I, you know, today i'm become i i think i'm officially becoming my own techie <laughs> oh absolutely, absolutely. I, I, I said okay this is the third round i have see the see how you have to grow <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> You're open for it, and it's so a, a lot of you know some of the um, older people are just like you know that's too much. I don't yeah. even learn it. You're like embracing it. So that's well, you, that's because of the healing. I'm telling you, it's only because I've been healing every day. And those who are in their 20s and 30s and 40s, if you don't be healed, if you're not healing every day, when you become 50, 60, and 70, you are going to be sitting down yourself. If yeah. you don't want to be sitting down and stopping your life and, you know, watching life just pass you by with all that which you have developed. I've developed so many things for me to sit down now. This is not the time to sit down. It's the time to really bring it. Because yeah. I I've, I've know so much. So why should I now look out the window and watch everything go by? And that's what ends up happening. So I'm telling everybody, it's in hindsight. It's like right now, if you're eating all the things I just said, the, the fast, the junk, the fried, the microwave, the meat, the dairy... Your future, you, you are snuffing out a brilliant future. Mm. That's what's happening with every meal. You say, well, I can eat now. I feel okay, right? That's temporary. But when you become really um, seasoned, now you can't walk. Mm. Your arthritis has kicked in. Now you really see, you have this knowledge. Now your kidneys are failing. A lot of people might do on a kidney dialysis. Now that you all this, now your mind is, you can't remember anything. You understand your mind is going yeah. off and you get a little Alzheimer's. So if you want to have what you have right now in your 30s and 40s, then you better really take serious uh, note about wellness as a way of life. Not as an occasion, I want to lose 10 pounds, but how do you live? Because you want to have vitality throughout. And some young people, young people, women are getting hysterectomies in their 20s and 30s now. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's getting, you know, we're aging quickly because it's the fast food generation, too. And that's aging our body. Wow. Yeah. You know what? Um, yeah. Let me mm -hmm. tell you, when I turned 50, I was like, oh, OK. You know, I was happy <laughs> because, you no, know, my mother's like you. She's uh, 70. She's 72 years old. She uh -huh. exercises every day. She eats her and her diet is impeccable. You know, wow. so you got it like that. I have a. I, ha I can visually see, you know, I'm like, right. okay, she, I was like, I want to be able to move around and stuff. Just like <laughs> the same thing that you're saying, you know, yeah. but I, but I feel like you guys go harder than anybody, you know, in terms of really being, um, like you said, grounded in your health and wellness. So I really appreciate, you know, you continue to be a, um, a beacon for us, really. You know, I see you on videos and your arm, your legs be back here doing stuff. I was like, go ahead, queen. <laughs> like but that's from the yoga. <laughs> You know, I have, I have actually have a headstand that I have right as I come out of my bedroom. So as I come out of my bedroom, I have to hold on to it and I go upside down. I said, because if I can go upside down, then I can keep all my, my arteries to my heart healthy. So I'll never have a heart attack. I keep the arteries to my brain. So I'll never have an aneurysm. I keep the blood flowing through because that's what it does when you invert. 
And so I can, so my, I won't lose my legs. I can still run up and down stairs. I can move because I know that we are stream of life. And if your stream of life gets jammed up, oop, my back, oop, my knees, oop, my shoulder, oop, you know, everything is shutting down. So I had to find ways to really say, okay, this is when you do this. This is when you do your, drink your water in between your clients. You know, you have to incorporate it as opposed to making it, healing is over there and I'm over here. Mm. No, you, you over here, merge healing with who you are here so that you could be well all the days of your life. That's the goal. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So now, um, you know, I, I had a question about uh, because you were talking about like uh, when you went, you started researching and you want to know what we used to eat, how we moved and stuff like that. So, you know, like this whole health and wellness piece is really like part of our African sacred sciences. Right. Ooh. You talk a lot about like other different things as part of healing. So there's health. But, um, you know, you were talking about like color therapy. Like what are some other modalities or things that we could do along with our health to really take on, you know, healing ourselves. Mm. Well, you know, there's this little rhythm that I do. I says everything that they call holistic is African natural lifestyle. So this is what I say with it. Reiki, African natural lifestyle, yoga, African natural lifestyle, massage therapy, African natural lifestyle, reflexology, African natural lifestyle, polarity, African natural lifestyle, hydrotherapy, African natural lifestyle, aromatherapy, African natural lifestyle, healing baths, African natural lifestyle, fasting, African natural lifestyle, astrology, African natural lifestyle, all of it is all African natural lifestyle. Everything that we're looking at as new age, it's not new age, it's all African natural life. It's all our culture and it's all started in the Nile Valley and so air, fire, water, earth. That's why I have so much to teach because it's all African natural lifestyle. Yeah. So um, you can, it's like what what I so I look at it through the elements, and so we healed also through the elements, air, fire, water, and earth. That is how we prayed, and that is how we healed. And so I read people through those elements. So I'm gonna just like zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in because it's like it's not like. I'm saying something foreign. This is something that we're familiar with. We all know air, you have to breathe. But then if you have asthma and allergies, you can't hardly breathe. If you have eczema, bronchitis. So you can take the plants for that, but you can also do breathing exercises. Mm. And you can also take a hot shower over your lungs. You can also do a sweat, do a, um, do a steam bath or a sauna. And the lungs and the back and the sinus and the throat will all begin to clear out. So you can use heat treatment. That's the heat treatment. So I've taken thousands of people to the bathhouse for a soul sweat. That's what I call a soul sweat. So that's the that's the air, right? And yeah. then fire. Well, most women have some type of womb issue, and I cover about 40 of them in terms of the teaching, which I'm teaching this. Everybody, I'm teaching womb care love, my body, my womb, this um, Saturday and Sunday. It's a two-day retreat, so please check the website. I was about to say, is it on the website? Yeah. Oh, wait, she can't hear us? Oh, you know, why did it mute? It's like you're, 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 you're it's muted. Um, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't hear you. Oh, okay, she's gonna, <laughs> anytime we start getting good, this little phone, this little, this little thing starts acting up. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, she's still muted. Family, make sure you liking and sharing this video. Um, yeah, it's a little microphone down at the bottom just needs to be tapped. Yes, family. Um, make sure you are liking and sharing this video. Um, she'll be back. <laughs> yep, she will be back. Um, and family, um, if you could please hit the cash app love right there, dollar sign happy film. It is, you know, when you contribute, when you look at these um, videos, any part of supporting us, you are part of the happy movement. Okay. The happy movement. Number one, love black people. Number two, um, uh, support black businesses. Number three, become financially astute with your money. And number four, which is teach the youth the truth. Those are our four principles. Um, 
that's what we are, um, that's what we're grounded, you know, grounded on. And the thing about this is that, um, oh, she's back. She's okay, bad. what happens is that people are calling me in on my Zoom. Wow. <laughs> Every all time they call me and I go out. So yeah, I'm they sure. automatically mute it when, when they call. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. So so I was saying in terms of the fire element, um, you could take um, hot baths to mm. get your circulation up. You can take your ginger tea. You can have ginger juice in with your herbs and your tea and your foods. Water, most people are dehydrated, so they have to drink more water. I say six ounces in the morning, midday, afternoon, and sunset, just to drink more water. And you begin to lubricate your joints, and you don't dry up. Because eight part of aging is that we start drying up. Yeah. As opposed to becoming flexible and fluid. And then the earth, most people are constipated, so they should get, I used to call them therapists of 15 years. They can get colonic irrigation. They can actually learn how to clean out their colon through eating okra a few times a week or doing abdominal massage, mm. um, doing your inversion exercise, which is an ancient African exercise for bringing your soul back to life as well as your body back to life. So that's, that's the elemental work, air, fire, water, and earth. So that's what I read. When I do radiance, I use the pendulum. This is my um, pendulum here. And I got this from Sonora Grasamaj, Baba Haru, Surya Bhatta. You know, he's uh, coming on the show next week. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I use, so I, he made these, um, and he has all the symbols, the comedic symbols on the Ankh and oh, nice. Austin, that but has so beautiful. What I do is I pick up so much energy field. And the beauty of reading is that you can read somebody no matter where they are, their energy field tells their story. And I'll read and I'll say, what are, how are the relation? How many relationships are is one um, holding on to in a toxic way? Mm -hmm. And usually it's about two or three, mm -hmm. one, two or three. And usually it's your first, the first teachers, your mother, your father, you're upset about. And whatever happened within that relationship, it translates into your current mate and your friendships. It's all what, how you were raised. So then we go back into that and we begin to unravel that, and they end up having to reconnect. Um, one of the prayers we say, my mother, my heart, I'm in the heart of my mother and my mother's in my heart. So many uh, women are angry at their mothers. Mm -hmm. That's a big, that's a, that's a very common thing. Um, and so that affects all their relationships. And many of them are feeling abandoned by their fathers. So they get mates that um, start off with them well, but then abandon them emotionally at some point. So we have a lot of healing. And of course, this is for these chattel slavery being stolen. Our culture, our language, our medicine, our, 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 our philosophy, our language, everything was taken. Yeah. And our land. So and then I we brought on foreign land and we have to find our way. And um, it shows up. It shows up because black folks, we have the highest rate of all diseases. We're stressed out. We're, we're the high, and we have food deserts on top of it. Yeah. You know, all yeah. of this together. So it's a... Like right now, we're getting myself and Queen Esther, we're coming together to do, and I want everybody to come out. And those who want to be a part of the experience, it's going to be a, it's an Ascension Holistic Expo. Uh, this is your first time hearing it. No one has heard it. This channel through finally. So we're doing an Ascension because we have our graduation with Sacred Women and Man Hill by itself. It's in LA. You could, that would be your vacation or that would be when you do your um, you build up your business with a market of, of us who love whatever you're doing because you're us. Yeah. And so at the Ascent, this Ascension Holistic Expo, we will be having vendors. Maybe you might even come out. And we'll be having lectures throughout, and you'll be doing lectures, and we're, we're learning things. But while that's happening, we have 100 women traveling from different parts of the country because that's going to be the Ascension Weekend at the same time. And there's a big extravaganza performance show from Sacred Women from Death to Resurrection. And everybody who comes to the expo can come to that. And then we have Man Heal Thyself and they're going to be doing their presentations. Saturday night we have the men and Sunday night we have the women. And, and all is between that's expo. This is, this is January the 26th. And it's, and it's a four day. So those who want to be a part of the expo, they can call us in and we can um, share with you. We just, the website will be up by um, next week and okay. you can participate and be a part of the community. Okay, so we're, build, we're building a healthy community. And, and, we, and you know, at, once the virus hit, we were so divided. 
you know, we we couldn't come in. We, we, this is the only way we communicate. We all became very good at Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> if we wanted to stay in relationship and communicate. And some people got very sick during this time because of the isolation. Yes. You know, and then and the fin and finance became a stress for some. Yeah. But I, what I found out with sacred women, most of them became entrepreneurs. That's 80% of the women who come into sacred women, they don't just lose weight and heal their womb, but they become entrepreneurs. And so I, I, the last chapter of sacred woman, the, the, the um, anniversary copy talks about how to create your own business from your own heart, your own spirit. And that makes your own money. And you can do, and you, your market are your people. And then because we're doing, we're, we're global because we can communicate on a website that our, our people are everywhere. Like right now, sacred women are in Canada, they're in Brazil, they're in everywhere. Africa, they're in the UK, they're everywhere. But that what's for me could be for everyone. Yeah. And what I've learned, you know, we learn by example. We don't always learn by what somebody teaches us. Because I've been an entrepreneur, I've never worked for anybody. And that's the queen that's always says that. Queen of never worked for anybody in her whole life. She's been an entrepreneur since she was a teenager, since I woke up into healing. I made this my work. I started to study and became certified in holistic health. And so this has been my entire reality. And so they watch me. They say, oh, she can write a book. Then maybe I can write a book. Exactly. Oh, she can create a problem. Maybe I can create a problem. That's what they've done. Oh, she can teach worse. Maybe I can teach. Well, she can do retreats. So they watch me as an example. And, and I have been there. But, you know, I've lived three lifetimes. That's what happened. And I was taking care of myself. And I, was, I had to examine myself because people keep asking me certain questions. Well, how'd you do so much? Or how are you doing so much? Well, because I live every day with the holistic. That's what I want to give to everyone. If you live every day holistic, you'll get this supernatural energy. Supernatural. You won't be quick this time. Supernatural. You need supernatural energy to live your full life. Yeah. Because otherwise, people can discourage you and tell you that's impossible. I, you know, when I'm about to do something new, I don't tell anybody. Only those who I know are believers. Because if you start telling everybody, they're going to tell you what you can't do, why you can't do it, because you don't have enough this, you don't have money, you don't have enough wherewithal, you don't, you don't have enough power, you don't have enough communication. Or I, I said, you know what? Most high. You tell me how I set this up. I'm going to listen to you. And then I come out and tell everybody, okay, guess what we're about to do? I guess what I have for everybody. They said, well, when did that happen? Well, because I was listening. <laughs> yeah. I was paying attention. I was getting up in the morning. I was eating my, drinking my lime water. I was eating my pears and my apples. And I was able to tune in to the gift that everyone has. Everyone has this. It's a treasure for everyone. And so, you know, that's, that's, that's how I've been functioning. Impeccable listening and natural healing. And it's not, it's not a secret. I'm, it's out the bag. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, what? It's, it's interesting, your impeccable listening book. So you went from having a, e is it an e-book as well? It or? was an e-book for, for a minute. For a minute. Because it when was you an e-book. Yes, yeah. when you came on the show, you said, oh, the e-book's going to come out right for Kwanzaa. And I was, yeah. like, I was like, I can't wait. And then now <laughs> you just like, bam, have a 200 page book. <laughs> that's what, that's supernatural. When well, you said supernatural um, um, powers, that's what's up. Ah, somebody's calling. See, look, the queen, everybody's blowing up the queen's number. They blowing up the queen's number. Okay, she's going to come. She's going to go out and come back in, guys. Um, your family, like and share this video. Make sure you are supporting and um, and following Queen of Foreign on all her platforms. She's on IG. I believe she's on Twitter, too, but we'll ask her when she comes back. Um, that impeccable listening. That's a great, I have not read the book. She came onto the show last year. She talked about this whole idea about impeccable listening, which I was like, okay, that's dope. So, you know, make sure you guys are, um, you guys are supporting her. Um, you know, our elders are getting it in. Okay. Yep. It just needs to be unmuted. Um, yep. And shout out to, um, SJ, yes, preach, preach, preach. Um, Kalia, Kalila, yes, yes, yes. Okay, she's coming from Richmond, Virginia. You guys, make sure you are liking and sharing this video. And, um, you know, if you have not seen the Hoppy documentary, it's two hours and 12 minutes. Uh, it's the history of money. We start from Kemet and we come all the way. Um, we talk about how we created 
the constructs, the structure for the economy, the way that we see it now, but yet we put so much money into the economy, $1.2 trillion, and we don't have any financial independence. So look at this film and you will see 30 scholars break down, um, you know, this whole money concept and things that we can do to become more financially um, independent. And uh, you can you can uh, download it or you can get a DVD copy. Um, just go to happyfilm.com and check it out. And also, if you are on on YouTube, watch us on YouTube, please, 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 family, make sure you are liking um, the, uh, the video, but that you are subscribed. You know, I just realized that um, yesterday I was on our YouTube page and we're not even subscribed to our, we're not subscribed to our own page. How about that? So if we're not subscribed to our own page, you guys may not be subscribed to us as well. We know from the analytics that we got about five, 6,000 people that are watching our videos, that are liking and, and, um, and some are sharing them, some are commenting, but you guys are not subscribed. So you probably think that you're subscribed, but if you can just check for us, Go to YouTube and you hit, make sure um, it should say subscribed with a D. That means you're good. Make sure you hit the notifications button. But you just may be, you know, watching and not knowing that you're not subscribed. Um, so please, family, make sure you uh, you check us out. Um, I can't get any volume. Can you guys hear me? Um, yes, thank you, Mayati. Mati Aset, what a name. That's what's up. Um, okay, we're just waiting for Queen to come back, to come back in. Um, okay, great. Great, great, great. Um, also, we have this Sunday, we will have King Randall. Uh, he is in the house, and you guys can Google King Randall. He is a young man that was, he refused to, um, to, uh, to fall into the notion of, you know, the black youth wasn't, um, you know, was lazy, was this, was that. He took matters in his own hand and he opened up a whole entire school, all types of stuff. But he, before he even had the school, he just started bringing people in his house and teaching them. So that's what's up. He's coming on the show. He's returning to the show. He'll be back on on Sunday so we can see what's going on with him. Um, he's been doing, um, thank you. He's been doing a lot of, um, of things uh, you know, in the, in the community, he's right outside of Georgia. So he'll be in on, on sat on Sunday. So please make sure you guys tune in. Um, also, um, yep, that's right. A food right there. Hit the bell, hit the bell when you subscribe. Okay. I feel like you're just a little, I like that right there. And we have John Henry Staples is in the house. That's two nights in a row. John Henry Staples is one of our elders. Um, and he, I love it when the elders get on um, because it's kind of like they're blessing your, your platform. And John Henry Staples have, you know, we've had conversations with him. He has um, given us some insight. He's gave, given us advice. So we really appreciate um, John Henry um, Staples right there. And he's typing, see, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, Yes, he is amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so the other thing, the newsletter, the newsletter, the newsletter, if you are not um, hooked up on the newsletter, if you're not connected to the newsletter, make sure you um, that you go to happyfilm.com, hit the get connected button and make sure you're on the email list. We got some stuff cooking next month that we want to announce. And you know, it'd be a little, you know, little discount. Always want to save some money on some stuff. And if you're connected to the newsletter, you get a special link. That link's not going out to anybody else. Only if you're down, down with the hobby movement. Um, will you be all right, Elizabeth? She's back in the house. Um, only will you be, you know, be able to uh, partake in the discount. Also, if you have not seen One Africa. One Africa uh, Power in Unity Conference. We're just waiting for Queen of Four to, con um, to come back. She, um, she has some of the technology difficulties. She gonna come back. I have faith, she'll be back. <laughs> um, 
But the One Africa Conference, you guys have got to support the One Africa Power and Unity Conference. We, um, you know, this conference was initially One Africa Returning to the Source, and we had 13 of our brightest scholars coming with us to Kemet along with 200 people. We were going to have this, you know, magnificent trip, sailing down the aisle um, and having a conference in Egypt talking about the birthplace and our connection to this birthplace, right? And uh, some Egyptians felt some type of way, felt threatened, felt whatever they felt, but they literally tried to shut us down. They, they said, we have some, the audacity of the American Blacks coming <laughs> to Egypt and talking about how we created something. And so essentially they, um, they, you know, they were raising so much ruckus that we had to uh, reschedule our trip and reschedule the conference. And out of that, because we were going through all types of hell, they, they actually started a change.org campaign saying that what we were doing was coming and, um, and you know, uh, defacing their history. And um, so we, we redid the conference and when I, we, we didn't redo, we, we canceled that conference, but then we rescheduled a different conference in Detroit and it was called Power and Unity um, One Africa. There we go. Okay, well, I think I better say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, you know, we gotta, we gotta get all these little stuff in. I just have two more questions for you before okay. you roll out. Because mm -hmm. one of the things um, that, that you, um, that I just wanna just get your, 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 your thought about this. So what is something that when you were younger, you would have said okay to or tolerated, but something that now that you are an older woman that you're like, oh, hell to the no. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like? What, what is there I, 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 I already did it this morning. <laughs> you know, I, I was called crickets. I said, if I come up, if I have a download mm -hmm. and, and I say, and I ask a question to my team and they just look at me and look, it's on the phone, but so they can look at me and, and nobody says anything and there's no response. I said, the crickets can stay outside. Mm. If you if you're in here, then I need a response. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. <clears throat> and so that's how I started out because I had a download. Yeah. I said, "Most high, show me." Because if you are, if you're on a team and we're going in different directions, we're going nowhere. Yeah. Say that right. again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're on a team and you're going in different directions, you will not go anywhere. In particular, you could be walking. And you look to your right. Wait a minute, nobody. You know, wait a minute. What? What? Exactly. Exactly. So then I said, yeah, I said, yeah. So I, so that kind of thing, I um, I address quickly, mm. and um, that we have to be on, we have to be together. Otherwise, we shouldn't be. We should yeah. let go. Let go. Let go quickly. Let go now, because we have to be together to be successful. Yeah. We have to be one. And sometimes we can, we can, someone can go with you for a season. And some can go for several seasons. Some can go for just for 24 hours. So mm -hmm. you, want to, you want to be insightful and just be able to uh, identify how, you know, how long is someone to walk with you. And yeah. when it's time to let go, do it with grace. As much grace as you can, let go. Let yeah, go. let go. You so, know, so that, that's some of the things I learned along the way. Yeah. So my last question. And you know what? I don't even know how to. You seem like a woman who could just take it straight. Because yes. I'm, just, I'm sitting here trying to think. I was like, well, how can I say this question? No, say it. <laughs> yes. So listen, you're, you know, you are like this healthy woman, but you have so much sex appeal. You are very sensual. You, you like, ooh, sexuality. I don't know if you know that. Wait, am I no, like, you I don't. <laughs> Why really? you been through me for a loop? Well, I just, you know, I'm not trying to have sex appeal. That's probably what it is. Well, no, it's not. No, it's no. Like sex appeal seems like very vain. You have something else radiating from you. That's very um, attractive, mm -hmm. you know, from like, you know, men and women, you know, like very just like you just move like in an ease in your body. Like, yes. Do you know what I'm mm, saying? That's interesting. You know why that's interesting to me? Because I've got over 100,000 responses because I was just at a, it was a convention of black businesses and mm -hmm. it was a, we had a party one night. 
and they play some of the oldie but goodies. And I said, oh, that's my music. <laughs> and I danced and, and that went viral. I said, okay. And so when I, people tell me, well, could you do something? Could you move? So I, I, t- I promised my marketing team, I'm going to go outside <laughs> soon. And you know how you had the, the um, TikTok and they could do, they're doing all their things. Yeah, and yeah. I'd be like, and I'd be in rehearsal with them. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to do, I'm going to do a quick something because people like me to move. But you know what? We all need to move. That's what they like me to move, but they really want to move too. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes I move for them. Yeah. Yes, you yeah. do. <laughs> you tell so, you. I yeah. encourage them to move so I can have longevity. Yes, because even when I see you take pictures, you do like, you, you take pictures and some pictures you kind of lean in and I'm like, that's full 100% woman. It's just, it's the way, mm. you know, which I really, you know, appreciate because I think that as women, you know, as, um, you know, as all, you know, like, I, I guess I'm a younger woman, um, but I'm over half a century. So I feel like I'm a little, you know, got a little something going on over here. But <laughs> it's like, it's nice You're gorgeous. See, yeah, it's, thank you. It's nice to see you like kind of moving in this space and just non-apologetic. And it's really nice, you know? Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, so it's, yes, yes. Yes. Well, that is like that. Thank you for the confirmation. <laughs> yeah. We all have to keep moving. And but you know what? I'm ha- I I love comedy. I like I like joy. I love joy. Mm. I love comedy. Um, I love the smartness of comedy. People how they can see life and they don't always see it negative. Yes. They can transcend it and see something hysterical about it. Yes. And so I I love to be able to transcend our situations and see. Wow, that's really an amazing, you know, thing. So because of that, I do feel like I do have youth inside of me. I I look older. I am older. But the youth doesn't die. That's the piece. That's interesting. So that flyness and that 20. So that's why the 20 year olds, they love to be with me, the teenagers. Because I'm moving with them, and sometimes I'm a little faster than them. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm so, pretty sure you are. <laughs> yeah, but no, but it's nothing that I have special. I don't think I feel that we all have it. It's just I'm trying to convey a lifestyle that gives you that extra edge, that gives you that extra zest and that spunk and that ability to shift and change and dance through it and laugh at yourself and laugh at the circumstance and don't hold and harbor. See, you know what ages us when we hold and harbor and then we stop dancing? Mm. We get so angry at life till we stop moving. Then we get mad, we fold our arms, we get that angry face, we hunch over. Mm. Now, that's called age, old age. You yeah. get old age at a young body, or you can just get old age as you get older, but you can get young at an older body. That's interesting. Yeah. You, get, you actually stay vibrant in your 50s, 60s, and 70s, and you feel like you're in your 20s. Mm-hmm. Well, you, it's, you, I'm telling you, you, you're doing the reverse thing here because it's, it's definitely coming out. I, you know. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, was a, that was a fun moment. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, could imagine I, what you were going to sound like. I'm on the edge. <laughs> I know. I know like, look, I'm not trying to recreate the red table talk here, okay? Oh, but the red like, but I was like, yo, like, I was like, this woman, like, you just, you just, it's just like, yeah, like, I can't even, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I can't even put it into words. I just know when you I just did it. I, I just you know have, what? You yeah. just did it. That's what it yeah. is. You had the rhythm. You yeah. was in rhythm. And you did yeah. that. You did it twice. I said, oh, okay. Because you have it. Yeah. That's that's I why you like it in me because you have it. <laughs> you. I'm telling you, I'm like, you the way you lean in those pictures and you just be looking like, mm-hmm. I'm like, hmm, like, yes, queen, yes. You know what? I say, I, I, I'm left. I laugh at myself because the other day, I, you know, I was in, um, oh gosh, I, I don't, I don't remember certain things, but I was, I, I auditioned for something, and um, I got the audition, and so you see me with in this. It was in, it was a movie, and then the same people they called me again and said, could you audition? This is a New York Times thing coming out. And it's it, it shows back in, you know, 1960, 1869. They started giving me the history of it. But they said, you need a grandmother who can sing. And we were told that you can sing. I started laughing at them. And then they said, well, could you maybe just tell us why you love being black? <laughs> What's so special about us? And then just say, where you're from? And, and then sing the song by Nina Simone. I said, you got to be kidding, Most High. 
I have an audition to sing a so Nina Simone song. I, and they said, and I said, when do you need this? They said, we need it today. I said, today. I said, I, okay, I went and got my side of vinegar. I went and squeezed my limes. I went and did a headstand. I took a healing bath. Then I started vocalizing because I used to do both. And oh. then I, and I took her, her lyrics and I actually performed for them. That was just last week. I said, the most high is trying to just have fun with me. So now you've tried to have me sing. And, and then when they called me up, I said, well, I did it. They told me, well, you know what? You don't have to, you, you don't want to sing. You can hum. I said, oh, y'all desperate. Y'all just don't care what I do. Okay, I'm a hum. Just so y'all have me in the production. So, you know, there's a, there's a gift from the most high. I'm going to say all well, praises to that you can live out all your destiny in this life. Mm, yes. You can live out everything. Like people say, oh, that's too much. You're doing too much. You're a jack of all trades. How are you going to do that? But you actually can. Tap into your supernatural beingness. But you got to clean up to do that. Yeah. And then you'll be able to do things that will blow your mind and will blow your face. It'll be like, wow, how did you do that? How did you create that? How did you write that? How did you even write that book? And you know what I know? Because people come, they want to come. Some pers big personalities come to visit me. And I'd be like, well, do you have a purpose for visiting? <laughs> what do you want? Are you trying to help me build a city of wealth? No, they just want to look at me. I said, am I a museum? Am I a relic? What is it? <laughs> and they'll come and they'll sit down and they just can't believe it. Wow. But, but I believe it because that's the creator. The creator, if the creator created the sun to come and rise and, and to, go, to go in and created, to create the ocean throughout the world and created, created these massive, beautiful mountains and trees and food for us to eat and everything that we have, then all we have to do is tap into where it all comes from. Yeah. Tap into the most high, no matter what your spiritual house is, tap in and ask the creator to guide your life and to show you how to do this, life, this thing called life. And then you'll get your instructions. There's a song that really set it off for me and I was 16 when I heard it. That was 1969. Sparrow Sonnets, he said, the song is the creator has a master plan. Mm. And I listened to that song throughout all those years. And I said, well, what's the plan? And I kept, it was the plan. I realized that we are the plan for our freedom. We are all the plan. And each one of us has a piece of the plan. Well, I have the plan to help women stop hemorrhaging and having hysterectomies and fibroid tumors. I have, and, and there's others who will do that. Others say, I have the plan for us having natural births and childbirth so we don't have to, you know, have our families go through trauma. I have a plan for wealth, wealth building. Yeah. Okay. If we pull all our plans together, we can, we have everything we need. And that's why even I'm going to go back for this Ascension holistic um, uh, expo that we're going to do. It's like putting everyone's plan together. Mm. My father was a Garveyite and he was speak Garveyite in terms of unity. And it, and you know, and if we can unify and, the, and Garvey's teachings and those great teachings of, of Harriet, Mother Harriet Tugman, and even M. Hotel taught us the healing. If we can unify in all of our greatness, then we, we, we would want for nothing. Then our people would not be put in prison because we have jobs for them when they come out. Yeah. Yes, and we would not have to suffer because our families would be healthy and we could help each other. And yeah. The farmers would be able to grow foods for us and we'll be getting organic foods from our people. And so we do have everything. That's my heat. I have everything I need. That's why, I, that's why I will sing. I will dance. I will spin. I will twirl. I'll <laughs> write a book. I'll do a meditation. I'll do a prayer. I'll do my yoga practice. Because that is the creators working through all of us in that way. And if we could just wake up to that. And sometimes I'll get a little impatient. So most times, forgive me. I will sometimes get impatient. But I prayed for no, having being non-judgmental. I have to work with non-judgmental. Everybody's at a different pace. And yeah. I say, okay, my team, we all have to detox together. If we don't detox together, when I'm talking, you don't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I love it. I I'm love talking it. to myself. All right, that, <laughs> that, I'm working on myself with that one. That, that's, that's a big work. Yeah. yeah so. Well, family, please, you can go to Queen of Four. You get all the stuff, the impeccable listening book. That's great. And you know what, Queen? I just have to show you this picture. I, okay. I love this picture. I seen this picture. I was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. I mm -hmm. love this picture of you. 
Oh, 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 that one right there. Uh, That's a history, honey. Yes. Yes. That that was the New York Times. That was that photo. Yes. They interviewed me. It was a very brief statement. And then I got into the New York Times for the sake of women's book, you know. And so that's the ankh. And that's the symbol that in the very top represents the feminine principle. And then the base of it represents the male principle and extensions, of course. As we all know here and happy, um, that represents our future, our children, that life continues. So the Ankh is there and the Ankh is our culture and that's our cultural symbol. And that symbol is within all of us, life. A symbol for unity, it's a symbol for life, it's a symbol for family, it's a symbol for the upper lower Kemet, it's a symbol of the masculine and the feminine coming in unity, it's a symbol of the left and right brain coming to our full power, that we sit on our thrones of power, that's, that Ankh is everything. <laughs> it's our yeah. cultural symbol. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, we, we, you know, before you were saying, you know, we need to thank your um, your daughter for, you know, hooking yourself up. But she might have been young here. I don't know if she was able to hook this up. I no, she didn't do that. No, no. But yeah. it happens. <laughs> this is, this is, no, this is uh, my daughter started. Um, she said, Ma, you can't wear the same dresses. I said, what? Well, why not if I love that? <laughs> Then she said, well, Ma, you're getting old. You didn't have, have to make up. I said, oh, okay. Okay, the lips and, you know, the eyes. And she said, get some fly glasses. So oh, I your glasses are fly. That's, yeah. you know what, listen, I'm just, I'm going to put this out there. You need to be selling some glasses. Because I okay. see there's like a couple people who, you know, like that's their thing. But you need to have a glass line. Like, I would get glasses from you. <laughs> I you got you to look at the show we did last time. You had these little purple things on. The, oh. That was my favorite. I lost those when I was traveling oh. into it from Atlanta to LA. Somebody is <laughs> walking them. around with them glasses on right now. Like, <laughs> oh, I got some Queen of Fours. I'm telling you, those were fire. So you should think about, you should put that yeah. in your marketing team. Say, listen, yeah. I need for y'all to go out here and ink me a deal with somebody. So Ooh. I glasses. See that you done started something and they're going to say, Quit, why are you doing glasses now? <laughs> I'm sure it's all because of you. Yes, I'm telling you. And I will gladly, I wear them. I will, I will be a model. I will have them on top of all the time because I'm like, those are fly. That's why I'm always looking like this because I can barely see because my glasses are kind of, they kind of whack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I was like, that's how I was a good choice. I was like, okay, I like these. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she stands on my case to you know, yeah. it, you know, I like a lot of juice. I normally put a lot on, but she said, tone that down a little bit and hype that up a little bit and throw a show. So she watched me all her life. And so she said, Ma, you have to stay in the game of wellness. So you have to be up. I said, okay, okay. You know, so in other words, you don't do this by yourself. You know, and then, and then my, my youngest son, he manufactures all our products. And me and my daughter, we came to Wound Care Love, our product line together. And then my oldest son, Supernova, he does the lecturing. And mm-hmm. he's a spiritualist, so he could pick up messages. And I'll, I'll go to him and ask him any question in the universe. And he'll go with it and he'll come up. So our, our family, we, there's wealth in our family. Yeah. There's business in our family. Yeah. You know, and so if we could do our, our family business, then we won't have any issues. Exactly. And you you're understand sh- our family has it. We have it. We have to have family talks and say, who in the family has the gift? Everybody should galvanize around them. Invest in them, and they will help the rest of the family. Yeah. Right? There it is. Yeah, that, there it is. There it is, family. All right. Right here, you guys. Go to um, <laughs> Queen of Four. Thank you, Queen. <laughs> Thank for you. For coming on. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Let, don't forget, everybody, meet me. Y'all, no, y'all meet me now. Oh. At A uh, Womb Here Love. I'm doing my body, my womb, women who have fibroid mm-hmm. tumors, cysts, endometriosis, infertility issues, or a hit and run lover, come to that session, okay? It's gonna be a two day intensive. I'm giving you homework to do. One of the things I want you to do is you're gonna, gonna talk to your mama, your mother, mm. and you're, gonna, you're going to ask her her womb story. Now she may not wanna tell you, but then again, if she does, you'll understand why you have the same womb story. And in that, you'll become unravel the pain and start on your path to wellness. And you're going to tell, I'm going to give you a special love bath, a love potion to take on Friday, on Saturday night. You don't want to miss the love potion. Mm. I have some nice secrets for you, but you got to come to class. So anybody who want to get a 10-minute tune-up to come to any of my trainings, the 21-Day Detox or Sacred Woman 
or uh, Wound Care Love, My Body, My Wool. You can call me at this number that was, that's showing up there. Thank you so much for pulling that number out of me. Activated. You got to oh. get activated. They got to they gotta come to the queendom. So I'm right here. I'm all yeah. for it. Anything, <laughs> listen, I'm telling you not, you guys now, you do anything and you start moving around like this, you're going to remember, you're like, oh, you know what? That must be, I got something for that queen of four. She got activated. That's what they yeah, said. She got, got activated. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I yeah. adore your earrings, honey. The lips and the earrings is everything to live for. Thank you. you yes. Know, this, I, yeah, I'm really, I, you know, I used to so know. So you're ageless. Them. You know what? You're ageless. I love being ageless. You know I what I'm saying? You, you just have to keep, you keep everything fresh and fabulous all the time. Every time I see you, I saw, when I saw you, I, I popped right up. I said, oh, really? That's what we're doing? <laughs> and it's, it's like tip for tap. You do that, I do this. We encourage each other. Yo, let me tell you, I was trying to find, I had a crown I had for um for my birthday. I was trying to find that crown. I was like, I'm going to have a crown on when the queen comes. Because she be bringing it. You always bring it. That's why I, I you are very consistent with your messaging, with how you show up. Um, it is, it's beautiful to watch. And Thank it's you. all, it's so nice because you give us an example of what we can become. Mm, That's the thing. Thing. You know, Wonderful. giving us an example. And a lot of times, mm -hmm. you know, we are always out here saying, oh, we don't have examples. You know, we right here, right mm -hmm. here. You Thank are you. doing it. You are doing it. So when I get to be your age, I'm going to be moving around like Exactly. This. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just leaning in with those pictures. It's the pictures. You're going to have to go back. I know you, maybe not today because you got a lot of calls and stuff. But I want you to just, just take a stroll through some of your pictures. When you take okay. pictures with people, you do a little lean in. I, do a, I didn't know I was doing a lean in. Yeah, you do a lean in. It's nice. Okay. Little okay. hand out. Yeah. And this is the era of the selfies, right? Yes. Yeah. It blew me. I said, you don't need all my pictures, honey. You here. Just hug me. That's enough. And they said, no, we want to sell. And then I said, well, let's do a group selfie together. No, after the group selfie, can I have my own picture? Yeah, solo. It's all about the solo. Don't nobody want group pictures. Like, you know when I meet people, they're like, oh, all together. No, I don't really want all She together. doesn't want that. No, we just want a solo. But you have 50 people, you're doing 50 pictures, 50 so. <laughs> let, let me tell you the fact. It is I, what it is. Yeah, you have all these people around you and stuff, and you are maintaining your health and looking good and, you know, moving around. It's it's beautiful to see. So I appreciate Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Family, right there, get activated. That's the number. Or go to her mm. website, queenofour.com. Um, the Ascension um, piece in L.A. I'm coming to L.A. to see you. Yeah, I'm you got to come. You got to come. Yes. Come with, with, with all your greatness. And you got to talk. You got to share. You got to set up a booth. Come on. Yes. We got to be at each other's business and getting things and getting what we need from each other. Because I know that yes. together we have everything. Separately, we don't have anything. We don't have enough. But yes. when we put up, we pull us together, unified force, yes. everything that we need is right in our circle. Yes. Right in our circle. Right in our, we got it. It's at our reach. We could do it. Thank you. Yes. So, all right, family. Thank you again. Right thank to you. Be activated. Um, thank you. And thank Monty. Thank your team, right? <laughs> I love them. I will. They, they entertain all my emails. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, beloved. Be well. Thank you, everyone. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, fam. There you go, Miss Queen of Four. She was uh, wonderful as, as usual. Uh, make sure you are following her. Um, and that you are connected and that you're getting activated. She gave us a lot of things. I like when guests come on and have some things we can do. You know, it's not just talking. You know, they're like, okay, yeah, and blah, 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 and do this, or go get this and read this, that impeccable listening book. Um, I really want to get that because she really laid it down with the, the whole piece about just listening. Um, all right, fam. Um, like I said, we have another show um, on Saturday with King Randall um, and uh, that's Sunday, I believe, at 5 p.m. But you'll just check the meme and you'll see. And I want to say shout out to Brenda Allen. She She's also one of our esteemed elders um, who actually traveled to Kemet with us this past um, May. So thank you. Thank you, um, Miss Allen. Nice to see you up in the chat. And I, yeah, um, I feel, well, you know, I think I'm good. I don't think I have... I don't have nothing else to say um, other than um, make sure you guys are tuned up and, um, you know, uh, not tuned up, but that you guys ha have um, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are so close to 30,000 uh, followers. Like we're really close. And so if you, if you know, if you're not sure if you're following us, you're not sure if you get notifications, just go, just do me a favor. Even if you're on Facebook, go to YouTube, type in happy film, and make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. It is like the currency of today. Okay. Liking and sharing all these videos. Um, also, um, uh, I just want to say, you know, thank you and peace to all of the people in the chat. Really appreciate you guys. Um, you know, we couldn't have a show without you quite honestly. So we really appreciate you guys. And thank you for all the cash app love, um, you know, that you guys gave us and a super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you can buy, um, the stars on Facebook. So we are, you know, I really definitely appreciate you. Um, and thank you for coming back yesterday, being such a flexible audience. And, uh, you know, a lot of things that she, she built upon what, the modern day sage was talking about yesterday, Allison Nidra. Uh, and if you didn't see that show last night, you should watch it because Queen of Four kind of built on, repeated some things and kind of added her commentary to a lot of things with, that Allison uh, Nidra was talking about. So make sure you you check out that um, that show as well. Yep, and I see Detroit is in the house, the D, there we go. There's Christina Williams. She is down with New Era of Detroit. And if you guys don't know who New Era is, just Google New Era Detroit. You gotta look at the Detroit chapter. They are actually, you know, we, we really appreciate people who are just not talking about doing stuff like how Queen of Four says. She's like, oh, I'm not just, you know, um, you know, selling these products. I'm actually living these things. This is how I, this is how I'm able to do everything I, I'm doing. Well, Christina uh, Williams, she's part of a group, New Era Detroit, who they don't do, they do very little talking, but all their stuff is about straight up, action and Yusef, yes okay so Yusef, you're in the d2 okay the d is in the house all right hey you know i'm from the d i went now i live in 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 new york um but there it is okay all right fam so you know what i'm gonna say you know who i'm gonna quote because i love um you know what he says all the time um before he he leaves out and that's professor um james small thank you so much um family and peace and blessings. I don't know what we can talk about in this nation without talking about white superiority, honestly. Who defines the meaning of God also defines the relationship between economy and God. African Americans spent $1.3 trillion last year, making us the 16th wealthiest nation in the world. Why have we not turned those riches into wealth to develop our community?